Hello guys! Sorry, I was trying to set up something and it didn't work and then I had to mess about. <sighs> Day 9! Vlogmas, Christmas Chronicles, all that kind of stuff, journaling. Um, today we have some background music. Yes! Christmas background music. Royalty free Christmas background music provided by Hero Board channel, Music for Creators. They are a channel that basically takes the YouTube lists of, you know, copy, co copyright free music that all YouTube creators can use and they put them into decent playlists for those of us who stream live. Thank you! <laughs> so finally we have some music. I can't stand journaling without something going on in the background. I'm usually a podcast listener or an audible listener, but obviously I can't play that kind of stuff when I'm streaming. But, uh, oh, nice bit of music. A bit of seasonal music too. If you haven't already, go and grab your favourite beverage to sip while you journal and or watch somebody else journal because I'm doing a journal with me. Um, I don't work Sundays, <clears throat> um, but I do spend a little bit of time uh, working in my journal, catching up on things, just generally tinkering. And when I asked for video suggestions, lots of people for the Q&A wanted to know things like how do you journal, what do you journal about, etc, etc. And um, a couple of people suggested a journal with me video. Um, I forget those because I do them almost every week for my class. So I tend to forget about doing them on YouTube. Um, but I thought, yeah, why not? I've got, I've had a hectic couple of days. I am at that stage where I feel like, oh, I haven't had time to catch up with myself the last couple of days. It's Sunday. I'm having a nice quiet evening in. I plan to do a little bit of journaling and then I'm going to have dinner and watch a movie, you know, which is my regular Sunday evening fare. So uh, I've made myself a coffee. I'm going to do the first thing that I do every week. Well, there's two things that I do every week when I sit here doing my journaling. I don't normally sit here, if I'm honest. I normally sit over there. Oh, you can't see. Hang on. Duh. Let's try that again without the oops. <laughs> I normally sit over there in my little journaling corner. See my lovely little... Excuse the mess on the floor, I've been having a bit of a clear out for my desk. This is my journal desk where I sit and I put candles on and I put some incense on and I just sit and journal and that's the way I like it. Uh, but today, because I'm streaming, I'm doing it over here. But normally I would be over there and do it. Uh, and I can't put candles on, there's no point because I've got the big light on and they'll just get knocked over or something. But I do have my gingerbread latte. Hello everyone, Ina, uh, Butterfly Girl. Do you know, I know your name when I see it and then I see Butterfly Girl and I know, oh yeah, that's so and so. And I can never put the two names together. I always want to say Beth, but it's not Beth, is it? Hello anyway, I do know who you are. <laughs> I know you're in my class and I do know your name. I just can't remember it. Abby, Daniela, Alan, nice to see you back. Gizmo, ooh. Mia Stoptaki? Is that close? Can I call you Mia? <laughs> Evelyn, hi. Finally get your name right. It's Evelyn, not Evelyn. Evelyn. It's Dutch. So, if you haven't already, get yourself comfy. Get yourself a nice hot drink or glass of wine or whatever it is you like to use. I can call you Mia. Lovely. I like that. I'm going to show you what I do when I'm settling down for a journal sesh that doesn't involve filming. So this is going to be weird because I'm going to be filming something that I don't normally film. Oddness. It feels weird. But let's start at the beginning. I like to have nice aromas and smells around when I'm journaling. So the first thing I do is light an incense stick. Uh, and since we've got Christmas 
journaling going on and it's December and we've got Christmas music. I've chosen cinnamon. According to this, the effect of aromatic cinnamon is said to be stimulating, heating and carminative. I don't know what carminative is, but I suspect we can guess. This is Stamford cinnamon and is one of the most light and elegant fragrances. Excuse me. I did once have somebody tell me that I should show people how to light an incense stick, so I'm gonna. It's not hard, honest, but you know, some people genuinely don't know. We all have to learn somewhere. So there's your incense stick and you light the end so it catches fire. Once you've got a flame, hold it horizontal. Don't hold it all up because then the smoke will smother the flame. And when you start seeing the red glow at the end, just blow it out. There you go, one incense stick lit. Put it in the holder and put it somewhere that the smoke will not get in your eyes. And don't put it too near the curtain. There, that was fun. Okay, step two. I normally like some candles but love your channel, thanks for sharing. Oh thank you Missy. My, my video the other day, you know my video where I said all you three people who keep thumbing down my videos, apparently they brought some friends in because that one got seven thumbs down. I'm gutted. I'm gutted. Can you tell? Look at my face. I'm gutted. I might just have to go away and hide and never YouTube again. People! Ooh, I may not have dried my brushes out properly after I last used them. This tends to happen when you use acrylic and I don't always wash my brushes thoroughly so they go a bit hard, so I do like to break my bristles again. Uh, can you see me? I'm, I'm just, I'm just tidying up. It's the first thing, I, first thing I do, light some incense, light some candles, and then I tidy up. Um, I'm not doing anything crazy tidy, I'm just moving stuff out of the way. So I've got a little pile of journals and magazines down here that need to be put away in their correct place. I put them all down there in a big pile. Remember to move them. I fixed this so I can put those together. So all of the, I put some araldite, not araldite. Um, e six thousand. Thank you to everybody who suggested e six thousand. Uh, we've had the December the seventh moon and I can't remember where we're up to. Oh come on most of you are my students what's the next moon phase? Who's looked it up? Who knows? I have it all written down because I can't remember from one day to the next. I don't know where my head is. This is why I have a moon calendar. If I could remember off the top of my head when the next moon phase was at any given time I wouldn't need a moon calendar wouldn't I? Uh, oh, I haven't got them written in for December even. That's how behind I am this month. We had the 7th was, I know it's in Sag. Hi Ro, hi Ro, you got the books. Yes, I did, they're there. Prairie Knitter, oh. No, you're not Andrea, are you? I better move that actually because it's got somebody's address on just noticed that you're not Andrea no you're just on the forum as you've seen you know I'm just gonna put this in like this so it looks pretty for now and I'll deal with it later I'm not setting up my moon calendar right now I'm journaling or trying to tidy my desk you are Andrea 
Why am I confused? Do you have another login that you use on here as well? Why am I confused? I thought you were somebody else. There you go, see, now it works. So I've just got to fix my tabs now that I know how far it goes down in, which is just a case of chopping them off and making them decorative, and then we're all done. Ah, you're always Dark Horse everywhere else. Yes, and then I go, Dark Horse. I know that name. Who's Dark Horse? And then I remember, I think, oh, hang on a minute. I don't have anywhere to put that right now. I'm going to put it back where it was. And then I go, Dark Horse, Dark Horse, Dark Horse. Oh, yeah, that's Andrea. <laughs> I always have to think about it. So, I went urban sketching yesterday, so that's out. Needs to go in my drawer like that. These are some bits and pieces. I opened my Christmas present, Rachel, because of course I did. I needed to see if it was a calendar because I thought it might be. <laughs> this is the Anchor Floria calendar. All the proceeds go to help um, Romanian dogs and cats in Anchor Floria. They rescue all these beauties. Look at that, lovely little redhead for January. Aren't they gorgeous? And I do like my doggos. Oh, that one looks like Maddie, look. Look, it looks like Maddie. How sweet. Oh. So, yeah, thank you, Rachel. I needed to see if it was a calendar. I thought it was, and I needed to check because I hadn't got one yet. And, uh, if I didn't need to buy one, then. Uh, these are all bits for collage. So they need to go over there with my journal stuff. These are going to be reviewed next week. I've got to have a quick look through them. Um, this is covering somebody's address. That's why it's, um, it's folded up. Uh, Prairie Knitters sent me these. These are the books. Uh, so we've got the Daily Planetary Guide from, the, I think these are all Llewellyn's, aren't they? The Magical Almanac for 2019 and Llewellyn's Herbal for 2019. Uh, I never buy Llewellyn's books, not because I don't like them, don't start. It's just that I don't find them meaty enough. They're great for beginners absolutely fantastic for beginners um, but I prefer to have a, jour a journal or planner or whatever and gather my own information for what I need they tend to be a bit too general for me so those will get reviewed next week that's my cloth it's last time's review that needs to go on my bookshelf there we go that can all just stay there that's kind of just needs tidying away. Okay, that's oh, that's Mickey's pictures. I need to put those up. I have a couple of bits and pieces that I need to put into my bullet journal, so I've just redacted personal information so that you can't see that. And then I'm just going to play in my journal. So if you want to ask questions as I'm doing stuff, by all means do. I thought it would be a good way of doing a journal Q&A and at the same time do some of my journaling without feeling like I was actually doing any work because of my day off. So a few bits and pieces from Christmas Chronicles that I need to put together. I've also got some personal journaling and I've got some bullet journaling that I need to just pop in because I've got some notes. Uh, I've also got a new index. Hands up if you want to see my new index at some point. Or have I shown you my new index? I don't know. So my journaling essentials are basically in my caboodle thingy. It's not a my not a caboodle. I've got 
got some bits and pieces of paper and I need to make a note of this quickly. I'll use that space there. What was the date yesterday? The 8th. <laughs> okay, that's the boring bits out of the way. He's got any questions? Why you not have no questions? Oh, you all getting your tipples? Thank you for doing Vlogmas. I'm very much enjoying it and enjoying seeing you and chatting with others as well. Awesome! I have to say, I'm enjoying it. Usually, I find Vlogmas is something of a chore. Um, I have to admit yesterday, yesterday was hard. I was glad that I realised ahead of time that I had a really, really busy day. Hey off, Ave. Have fun. See you later. Um, I'm glad I realised that yesterday was going to be hard and that I was going to probably need to nap by the time I get home. I was going to be exhausted. It was physically taxing yesterday. Um, it probably showed in the video, so I was really glad that I'd organised something that was really quick and short and I didn't really have to think about. I feel much better doing this today, even though today's Sunday and I'm technically not working. This isn't really work. I'm just chatting and journaling. It's kind of like being at an online crop. Hey Trace! <gasps> Tracy! Tracy! Dude! Foxy, you have to get yourself some... I'm not sure if you'll, you'd want the orange or the yellow, but it's by Fanola. F-A-N-O-L-A. -A. It's called No More Yellow and No More Orange. Depending on how light your hair is, you might want no more yellow in the summer and no more orange in the winter. You can achieve this, my love. And if you leave it on for longer, you can get a purple hue. So, and it washes out in like two washes because it's only a shampoo. It just tones. But the more often you use it, the more silvery and white and gray it is. And because you're a natural platinum blonde, it would just get rid of the really yellow patches that you keep moaning about. You've got to try it. It's 12 quid on um, Amazon for the 1000 milliliters, which is, is that a liter? Yes, 12 quid on Amazon Prime for a litre. And you can put it on back order as well. Because with all your hair, she's a lion. And she's like, she's a Leo. And she, her hair's like this long, and this wide, and this thick. <laughs> and it's platinum blonde. Natural platinum blonde. We're so jealous. Uh, but yeah, yeah, get some, try it. Um, you can get little smaller sachets and stuff but I, which is what I've got I've got a set of 10 sachets that are like 15 millilitres so one of those will do me for two hair washes for two weeks uh, I suspect one of those would maybe do your fringe <laughs> you have a lot more hair than I do you will need the big one but yeah it's it's lovely and especially I thought for over Christmas you might really like it because I know you you want to go purple 
sometimes for fun, but not nothing permanent. So, yes, try it. Try it. Get some. You need it. I would go for you. I would go with the No More Orange in the winter because you go quite warm. And then in the summer when you're already getting the sun and you go lighter, maybe try the yellow one. Do it. Do it. It's Christmas. It's over the Christmas holidays. If it goes purple, who's going to care? <laughs> but you only leave it on for like between two and five minutes, depending on how much you need to get rid of. But it does say on it that if you leave it on for 30 minutes to an hour, you can achieve various shades of lavender to, to purple that will fade out into a nice platinum grey. Bossy? I'm not bossy. Well, I am bossy. I always sound bossy. I always sound bossy. Everybody tells me off for sounding bossy, but I'm not bossy. I'm just saying. Fa Let me write it down. Oh, no. Fanola. Let me... Um, do I have any... I'm a journaler and I have... No. No, she knows what I mean. I'm not... That's not bossy. That's cheerleading. Completely different thing. Uh, I think you'd need no more orange. Which is a dark blue bottle with an orange thing. But there's a white bottle with purple on it as well, which is the no more yellow, which is what I've used. But I'm like, this is like super pale, like lemony. This is lemony, pale lemon. I didn't have a lot of yellow. My, in fact, my roots are the colour that your hair goes when it's sun bleached. To give you an idea of how, how different it is. Oh, it's Brenda saying, oh, bog off, Brenda. Bog off. <laughs> is what I meant to say. <sighs> okay, where am I up to? Right, I need some stickers for my days. It's a journal with me. I'm 30 minutes in, I haven't started yet. Oh well. It's a chatty journal with me. Chatty journal coffee. Well, I had to tidy up first. Here we go. Here's my days. On my sticker days, I'm lazy. Too lazy to do my own. I do like to do my own lettering for the months and my journal bits, but just for my bullet journal, I quite like the having um, not set matching matching ones so that the bullet journaling stands out easily uh, so I'm using Courtney Little Raven Inks things and I printed them out four to a page so that I could get them smaller she makes them A4 size so if you print out four to a page you can get them in A6 size and then they're just about the right size for a smaller journal like this my journal is More of a chat than a journal. Well, it is a journal chat, isn't it? My journal is moleskin large size. 21 by 13. Do you think it's 5 by... It's not 5 by 7, it's 5 by 8, I think. Or 5 by 8 and a quarter or something. I don't know. I was watching a really terrible film the other day. And it was... It was one of those moments when you realise that at the same time, you realise that not only is this a really terrible film, but that technically the reason you know it's a really terrible film is not because you're watching it now, but because you've seen it before. And not only that, but you watched it all the way through in the vague hope that it would get better, and it never did. So <laughs> and I was watching this film, it looked so promising, it really wasn't. I mean, it had, it had Natalie Portman, Julia Roberts and Jude Law in it, and I thought, how bad can it be? Oh, it was bad. Bad, 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 bad. Uh, but one of the, the two characters at the beginning meet up, and they're talking about various things. They have a strange conversation. And she's rifling through his bag, and he has tuna sandwiches for lunch, and she thinks that's funny. 
and he says, oh, you didn't fancy stealing my tuna sandwiches then? And she said, no, I don't eat fish. And he said, why? Why don't you eat fish? Uh, and she says, because they pee in the sea. And he says, well, so do children. And she said, yeah, but I don't eat those either. <laughs> appealed to my sense of humour. <laughs> Which film? It's called Closer? Yeah, Closer. It's terrible. It, it's really bad. Really bad. I couldn't even finish watching it the second time. I sat and watched it the first time and hoped it'd get better, but it never did. Snow means more time to time in the journal. It would if we had any snow. You've got two feet where you are, Rose. Crikey. You're in Canada. You're near Canada. Eight and a half inches. Crikey. That's almost... What's that? Two thirds of a foot? I have to remember to not watch it. Yeah. That was the best part of the film, was that quote. It went rapidly downhill after that. Look at my uh, reindeer. Christmas gives me an opportunity to pull out all my festive stuff, like my little red clip and my reindeer, I think. I cannot remember who sent me these. It was either Miss Vicky B or Anna, Mrs Brembles. One of them sent me this. I'm pretty sure Miss Vicky B sent me the nerd glasses, so I think Anna Brembles sent me this one. I don't know. I get so much bits and pieces and it's so difficult to track where it all comes from and you know me, I'm bad with names, worse with faces. I appreciate everything that I'm sent and everything that I'm given and I, I absolutely use it, as you can see, every year my reindeer comes out. But you know, it's been a few years now and I don't remember who gave it to me. <laughs> oh. Tracy has been emailed. Sleepovers and parties, that's one of our Christmas Chronicles planning sessions. I've sorted my mum and dad for January and we now know where we're going to eat on Wednesday. So that's sorted. I have finished my lists of cards but not letters. So that's part done. I've got all my bits together, all my Christmas cards and stationery. I just have to finish writing them. Uh, Friday. What did I need to make a note of from Friday? There was something, and I don't remember what it was now. I'll leave that space. It'll come to me. It always does. Um, so, there's my red clip. Uh, astrology. Wednesday. Astrology group, dinner, we don't know if we're having a session on the 17th, uh, okay I don't think to, I need to add anything else on there, nothing on here is outstanding, oh it bloody is. Scan Murph sketch. Okay, I'm going to put that here because I keep missing it because it's the only thing. So I keep going back to this list. Email her, I've done that. Vimeo is done. Coat, I haven't done that yet. I'm doing that tomorrow. Need to take photos in daylight. Fanola is on Amazon, absolutely. Rachel needs some of that as well for her mama. Dory needs some. In fact, I'll get Dory some pack some pop. I'll get I'll get I'll put a couple of sachets aside for Dor. Hi Dor. How I managed to forget when I have a little bank NBC tree in one of my boxes. A little black nightmare before Christmas tree. <gasps> Well, you're supposed to be emptying those boxes anyway, Rachel, so get on with it. 
<laughs> okay, so that's all done. Excellent. That is all done. Um, I was going to do Planxiety to today, but I decided not to. Because it's Sunday and I don't feel like working. So I'm going to leave it there. I've also got pencil. In fact, let's be a bit organised about this. Okay. Okay. Planxiety. Somebody wants me to do a video on something I know nothing about. <laughs> else was I asked to do a video on? I've done journal with me. I haven't been writing them in here you see so I can't remember. Oh I've got Llewellyn's books okay so Llewellyn 1, Llewellyn 2, Llewellyn 3 and hopefully the plan noir will come in time for me to do that as well. So that's five. We've got one, two, three, four, five, and then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more to go. You're leaving them till January. Well, that you're never going to find your tree if you don't unpack your boxes. Stop procrastinating and get on with it, <laughs> says the woman who doesn't like to be told what to do and therefore procrastinates. <laughs> Um, any more video requests? Anyone that I can do live? I don't want to do pre-recorded videos. If you've got questions for the Q&A, leave them in the comments of one of my videos because I am checking comments. I like to re reply to comments wherever possible. It's not always possible because some people I know my, my ADHD girls like to watch a video and reply as they're going through the video. So I can't always reply to every single comment they make, but I do try and uh, reply to any that have questions. But I do read them all. Um, okay, anything on here that still needs to be done? Buy extra lights. I did that yesterday. Whoops. Extra lights. I don't have my Christmas decorations up yet. That's all I've got is my my little reindeer wreath and some lights for you guys. That's all I've got up at the moment. Ooh, there we go. I've been using um, Courtney's. Uh, sticky, sticky collage bits didn't come out um, early enough for me to use them for my bullet journal for Christmas. But I'm using the pinwheel designs for my um, journaling for Christmas Chronicles. So that's number six, number seven. Where's the, where are they? I said that and now I don't know where they are. See, I printed all of them out on little little stickies. Okay. Where are my pinwheels? Oh well, I'll have to stick them on afterwards. I must have left them over there somewhere. They should be in here. So, as you can see, I've been doing my Christmas Chronicles journaling, but I haven't been doing my other journaling. So I'm going to do some of that now because I've got pictures and stuff and stickers and things that I need to put in. 
I don't journal chronologically. I shove stuff in my journal as and when I have time to do it. Um, if it's that important that it has a date, I put a date on it, but most of my stuff doesn't need a date because most of it's just pictures of my dog. Uh, oh, Friday's Friday's plan with me. I didn't do Fridays or Saturdays. How about a list of favourites, books or art supplies? Uh, I have done a favourites book, a uh, favourites list of books before. Um, I don't really have favourite art supplies. I have stuff that I'm enjoying using at the moment, but I don't really have... I guess my Prismacolors and my Bic Ballpoints are my favourite art supplies. That's pretty much it. Those are the ones I always use all the time for everything. The rest just kind of come and go. Um, so I can't, I can't really do a favourite art supplies, but I am going to do a desk tour, which will include some of my art supplies. So that should cover that. I've done favourite books before. Uh, pointillism, Santa or reindeer? Well, that's art techniques. I, that's what I do in my classes. So, in fact, we're going to do a next week. We're doing totem animals, and we're going to do a impressionist robin, amongst other things. That's for the Christmas Chronicles and for When Frogs Sing 2018 because getting near the end of the year and we're starting to double up on stuff because it's all getting very crazy but most people are both in both classes so it's fine I don't know what the planning prompt what was the planning prompt for the seventh I don't remember I don't know because I didn't do it so I'll just leave that blank for now I'll come back to it as you can see I don't I don't um I don't worry about, oh, but I haven't got this, I haven't got that, and I have to leave space for this, I have to leave space for that. You can always add a tip in. I don't need to leave space, I can always add a tip in. This is going to be a catch up on some December life stuff from week one. Um, so I did some odd stuff with keeping the bits and pieces for my hair. what I used. It's the same stuff I always use, but I don't always journal it. And I don't always leave it silver. I usually go blue. So I thought it would be fun. See, these will make a perfectly good set of tippings. Hey, Burgess. Burgess, you need to look up Fanola No More Orange shampoo as well following our conversation the other day. Absolutely. Are you not in Christmas Chronicles this year, Foxy? I thought you were. I thought I'd added you. Fanola, not Finola. Yeah. following your your chat about trying to get rid of some of the red and to make it more ashen or browny I think that will help because you can use it over dye as well you can, it doesn't have to just be on bleach or natural hair you can use it over other dyes oh you're supposed to be in it well it's because I haven't spoken to you isn't it I haven't spoken to you in ages so I haven't dude Christmas Chronicles and When Frogs Sing is supposed to be your Christmas present. <laughs> You're supposed to have had it, but apparently I didn't tell you. I'm sorry. That's what I gave you for Christmas. Because I knew you wouldn't have it this year with not being admin. I will make it so. I will add you. Sorry, I thought I had already done so. I... 
I might have asked Carolyn to add you and then forgotten. Or thought I'd asked Carolyn and then forgotten, that's more likely. Uh, does that work? Yeah, that'll work. Let's do that. Somewhere here I've got a... More orange candies. More orange candies. Where? Where do I have orange candies? Hi, baby. Are you singing? Board, I think. Like, Mama, it's Sunday. Why are we no snuggling? I mean, you stay for that, apparently. Mine so it doesn't so much staple stuff as just randomly stab things. More orange candies. I don't understand the orange candies thing. Where are the orange candies? Or are you answering a question from somebody else? Trace, message me. Remind, or text me actually. Text me is a better idea. Remind me to add you. I honestly thought I'd already done that. I don't know why I thought I'd done it. But the camera's a bit blurry. No, it's not. If it is, it's uh, YouTube streaming service. It's not me. Or it's your eyesight. Could be your eyesight. Okay, so that works. So let's... I am not using sticky back pictures at the moment. I've got some matte photo paper. It's not matte photo paper, it's gloss photo paper, but it's matte on the back and I can write with it in pen. Um, so I kind of use pictures as journaling cards sometimes, but I'm going to stick this one on the back because it takes really nicely. for pictures. This raw tape is rubbish. So we have to stick it. Dear you, if it's your first time in Portugal, there's something you need to know. Here, we take music really serious. to reload my music.
it's only 40 minutes long, so I have to re reload it. And again, today's music is by Hero Board, music for creators. Go check them out. I've put their link down in the description bar. Um, this is a compilation they've done of all the royalty-free stuff that um, YouTube has in their playlists. So it's really useful for streamers because it means we don't have to do it ourselves. So who's journaling along with me then? Who's taking the opportunity to catch up on a bit of journaling, sketching, Christmas card writing? Anyone putting up their tree? Now because this is a bit thicker, washi tape is not going to hold it properly, so I've got some inside to archival sellotape that I will put on back. You are. Andrea is. I never thought I should have set it up on Zoom and then my students could have come and shown you what they were doing. I'd have to do that at some point. Maybe we do that for the Christmas party. It's Christmas Eve. I've got a Christmas Eve journal with me set up, haven't I? I was going to do... Is it Christmas Eve I've got a journal with me? Planned? Christmas Eve, coffee chat and journal with me. Word of the year. Yeah. We could do that, couldn't we? You guys could come and join in. Tree done. Planning your week. Excellent. I don't plan my week on Sundays. It feels far too much like hard work. Mimi, hi. Work on your traveller's notebook. Awesome. Noting down ideas for the Christmas Chronicles. Excellent. See, I think you should just be doing the Christmas Chronicles, Rachel. Perhaps not noting down ideas, just actually doing it. Maybe. I don't know. Or are you waiting for supplies? Is, is Santa bringing you some supplies? In my regular journaling, I'm really much more of a scrapbooker than a journaler, art journaler. I, when I do my art journaling, I like to do it proper art journaling. Not really, no, not proper art journaling. There's no such thing as proper art journaling. Painty art journaling. I do painty art journaling. Hang on, I've lost my thingy. There we go. From chocolates. Still going on about the orange candies from chocolates and I don't know what you mean. Oh! Yes I do! Yes I do! Yes I do! My Terry's chocolate oranges! <laughs> Is that what you mean? I found two dark chocolate oranges. Absolutely love them. My husband came in and said, you aren't filming, you're watching someone else filming. Yeah, well that's legitimate. You thought of your word of next year. Oh, cool. So, oh, I've got these pictures of Scooby. I'm going to put those in. Make it kind of like a little photo booth type thingy because he wouldn't sit still. Yeah, let's make it like a little photo booth thingy. Oop, got the shakes.
Many times over the years you've heard me say I will never, the only thing I would never ever ever use in my journals is sellotape because it goes horrible and it's nasty. This is true. This is not sellotape. This is archival sticky tape. Ooh, I know what I'll do with that. I know. Um, some little paper clips stickers. I've got a red and a green. Let's use a red and a green. Let's have a green round one. And a red triangular one. Bye Brenda, see you soon. Cute, I like that. I've also got that one, which has got Scooby on the back having a snuggle. All of my pictures are Scooby of him having a snuggle. And then Maddie was a bit jealous that Scooby was getting snuggles, so I'm going to put Maddie in there. that face. Look at that face. I, what kind of printer do you use for your small photos? Usually I would use a Pogo printer. I love my Polaroid Pogo. However, getting the paper, even though the uh, Zig paper is the same, it's really hard to get the paper again now. It's got really expensive. So instead, I bought a pack of 6x4 printer paper and I just put it through my regular printer. I have a HB, HP 3831, I think. I don't know. It's the one that comes with the instant ink. Uh, so I pay $1.99 a month and for that I get 50 prints and then I can add extra prints if I want them. Or I can up it and I, you know, for like eight quid, I can get 300 prints one month if I need them. I really want to start, start adding photos to my journal. Yep, let's get it done. A good way to do this, actually, especially if you're, I, I print four on a page on a six by four sheet, which is 10 by 15, I think it's called. So I print four on a page, I just select four photos in the same orientation, so portrait or landscape, set them up four to a page, print four to a page, set the right size pr printer and it comes out, and then I just chop them up and shove them in my journal, ready to go in whenever I need them. Um, I'm getting to the bump in my book, so I'm finding a lot that I'm having to put a bit of sticky tape along the edges of things to stop them poking up here. Um, yeah, I print four to a page, chop them up, and then because it's uh, regular matte paper on the back, let me see, have I got another one? Yes, I have. Uh, I haven't actually tried it with my fountain pen. I don't know if my fountain pen might bleed, but let's have a look. Let's have a look. Uh, so this is uh, Friday, oh yeah, it works fine, a little bit of feathering but nothing I'm going to worry about. What was the date on Friday? It was the 7th December,
See? Take four photos. Yeah! Takes all sorts of sizes. In fact, most printers take all sorts of sizes. But yeah, you just shove the 6x4 in. Tell it if it's portrait or landscape. It even auto-detects it. If you put the paper in and then move the slider across straight away, it'll come up on the front saying, did you load 10 by 15 glossy photo paper? And you say, yes, it's 10 by 15, but no, it's not glossy, it's matte. And then it'll automatically print. And then when you select your four pictures to print all in one go, at the top, you just say default photo, default default paper from main tray and it should automatically detect that it's 6x4 and it'll say this is printing out 6x4 or if you've got really massive fo massive photos it'll say these are too big for the fo paper you've printed you selected so you just tell it okay size it down to borderless I print um, 10x15 borderless four to a page chop them up Stick a date on there. In fact, you could even... Oh, I've used my number seven, haven't I? I was going to say, you could stick your numbers on there. If you're using numbers, you could stick them on the front. Journal on the back. Stick them in. Use them as tippings. Line them up along the edge of the page. Stick them down so they fold up like Christmas cards. If you, if you printed, how many would it be? Four, eight to a page in squares. Eight square pictures to a page from Instagram. You could do it like that and put it in a monthly calendar. Like a advent calendar. And have them all so they flip up and you write them back. Uh, put that one down there, I think. Okay, I think we've got more than enough tip-ins on that page. We need to move it along a little bit. Um, so these bits are stuff that I'll, I'll write in later when I feel like it. Um, like, for instance, this. Um, Scooby wouldn't keep still for cute snuggling whoops hump life pictures so it took a few attempts meanwhile Maddie sat at the end of the bed giving me stink eye because oh, that's not how you spell because because she was jealous of Scooby getting the attention 
Journal entry, done, dusted, boom. Used my photos, wrote about a memory, made it Christmassy, filled a page of my journal. Google says my Kitrus glass globe from Canada is a witch ball. Very pleased. Excellent, yeah, I've got a witch ball. It's a Christmassy witch ball too. It's got um it's got pine cone and cinnamon and camphor and cardamom, not cardamom, vanilla and bits of glitter because of course it's got glitter shake it all up and I, I found with mine I had to put a bit of vellum tape to keep it stuck together on each side and when you shake it up you can smell the camphor it's really nice done that as a video last year actually for vlogmas I think I did that a video on how to make those because those were sent to me by uh, deco art thanks for the printing tip I was thinking I needed to buy a special printer no 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 I have a HP printer but you can do it with any printer I just like the HP instant ink because I never have to remember to go and buy ink or purchase ink or write it down or anything and I don't have to worry about running out anytime soon because if I sit and print loads of photos today and I run out of black ink that's okay because they've already sent me another one they sent you as soon as as soon as one of your ink levels gets below half they send you a new one so you never have to worry about well I suppose if you printed like 6,000 photos in one day you might They're cute, aren't they? Because you can make um, you don't have to use them as a witch ball. Um, you could put like um, a photograph, print out a photograph, and put that in there. It would be cute for a baby's first Christmas, like maybe a little tiny cuddly toy or something, or a picture of them with Santa, something like that, as a memory ke memory keeper, like a little journal ball. There you go. Make a journal ball with it. Or you could paint black eyes and stuff on the front and make the back of it white with glow-in-the-dark paint and then you could turn it into Jack Skellington, which is what I did with my other one. <laughs> and now he glows in the dark. That was definitely a YouTube video. That was a couple of, um, a couple of vlogmases ago. Uh, I don't really feel like journaling about my hair or anything like that. I'll do that later. Um, I do fancy drawing. I fancy drawing something. So I think I've been hanging on to this guy because I really like him. And I'm thinking maybe I'll just sketch him. So head, shoulders, antlers, ears. There we go. That's about how big he's going to be. Pen. Sat at a funny angle, so I'm not getting my lines very, very even. Looking a bit fierce, let's give him some eyelashes. When he died, give him eyelashes.
Hi, Boo Boo. What's up? <laughs> oh, is that right? <laughs> Meaning what? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Do you need to pee then? <laughs> A roo, a roo, a roo. Do you need to pee then? Hot <laughs> break, hang on. Come on then. <laughs> I know. I know, you're very cheeky and demanding. Come on then. You good now, Boo? You good now? Boot the schnoot? Good boy. Ah, there we go. Poppy heard Scooby even though I've got the headphones on. Yeah. Hi. Everybody happy now? You are. Okay. What a good boy. your landlord won't let you have pets? Mine's a dog lover. It was the first question I asked him before I before I even said I was interested in looking at the flat. I said, I'm interested in the flat. Has it got a garden? Do you allow pets? And he said, well, if they're well behaved. Well, she tries. <laughs>
get rid of the cat. I don't understand why landlords are always okay with cats rather than dogs. I've had both cats and dogs and I can tell you absolutely that cats will do a lot more damage to furniture, corners of carpets, stuff like that. And they're more likely to pee in the house when their litter tray needs some. You leave it like an hour too long and they will pee in the car on the carpet or outside the litter box. Whereas dogs will literally hold it until they feel start feeling ill. If anything, dogs are easy to, easier to deal with, especially since a lot of people crate their dogs when they're out, so they don't have bad behaviour and stuff. Well, landlords here don't want cats, not through agencies, no, which is why I keep telling you not to go through agencies. I know where you are, you have to, but... See, up here, you don't have to deal with agencies. There are plenty of private landlords up here. Spidey, where did you come from? Why are you on my desk? If you want to be on my desk, you'll get squished. If you want to be on my desk, you'll get squished. Come on. If you want to be on my desk, come on, there we go. Come on, there we go. Over here. Definitely don't want to be on the desk. Now I've lost the bit I was cutting out. There it is. Murph has a cat, she can send you if he doesn't stop being a git. There's an interesting use for washi tape. Why the hell not, eh? Why the hell not? I need a Santa. I need a sticky Santa. Where are my Santa stickers? I need a sparkly Santa. It's the 9th of December. We need to get the sparkly Santas out. My sparkly Santas were here the other day. Where have they gone? Sparkly Santas go poof. Oh well, they'll turn up. They're probably on my desk.
see you, Ina. Sorry, I keep forgetting to watch chat. I keep getting lost in what I'm doing. Happens a lot. Sorry. Muting for a second. We're back. I need to take one of my classes. Have you not taken one of my classes before, Rose? I thought you had. Probably got you mixed up with somebody else, you know what I'm like.
yes, romanysrome.name.com. This month we're doing, you can, just because it's a sign up class doesn't mean you can't sign up on at a month at a time. So you can pay monthly if you just want to try it out. Or you can purchase the whole of next year's class at the moment, all in one go if you want to. There's lots of different options. Uh, yes, it does. I fixed it. The sign me up for 2019 in the shop now works. I fixed it last night. <laughs> we had some issues because they've done they've done something to groups and they've changed some of the way the groups work and they messed around with things and it changed the links and all sorts of weird stuff happened and I've had to chase my tail trying to find all the bits that it broke which they claimed it, they didn't break but they did because it's broken and I didn't do it <laughs> but yeah all the links should work now if you find a link that doesn't work please use report this to an admin it doesn't go to Ning, it comes to me and Carolyn, and it means there's two of us have got a chance to see it and sort it out really quickly. Rather than if you just message Carolyn, sometimes she doesn't see it for 48 hours. The one from the description page. What description page? There's a link on the front page, and there's a link in the shop. The one on the front page has always worked, and didn't have a problem. The one on the shop page I fixed last night. So where are you finding a link that doesn't work? Can you just hit report to admin, and then either myself or Carolyn will see it, and we'll fix it. Because we're chasing our tails a bit with finding these links that they've broken. They've also broken the setup of groups, so I can't set my website up properly for the groups, which is annoying. But I fixed it last night, it's working. That doesn't make any sense. Murph, will you take a screenshot and like circle the link that you're using? Maybe I've missed one of the links. Because I fixed about three different links in the shop last night. It should all be working. The one here isn't working. I don't have a link here. Oh, this one here. It's not a clickable link. They've got rid of YouTube annotations. It's not a clickable link anymore. There's one in the description down below. YouTube got rid of annotations about three weeks ago. Because people weren't clicking on them. Well, obviously people were clicking on them because you've just tried to click on it, haven't you? So. Uh, red, yellow, blue, purple. Huh. Run out of colours. How have I run out of colours? Oh, I've got a nice pink one there. That'll do. Yeah, annotations on YouTube videos don't work anymore. That's not pink, that's red. Okay, where are you? I can't see you. Why can I not see you? There you are. If you sign up to the main site and you have trouble signing up to when frogs sing, either message me, Romany, or message Carolyn Patrick and we'll sort you out with the link. I don't know why they keep breaking the links, but they do. It's very annoying. 
but there's nothing I can do about it. I just have to keep fixing them every time they break them. If your white pen is too stark, wait till it dries and then colour over it. Top tip. YouTube keeps fixing things that aren't broken and not fixing things that need fixing. Oh, you mean like the new uh, Snapchat? I mean uh, YouTube stories that have come out. Because nobody uses Facebook stories or Instagram stories or Snapchat already. It's a bit more cow than reindeer, but never mind. He's still kind of cool. He's got glittery, sharp, sparkly lights. lights are not quite glittery enough. I need more glitter on those lights. Yeah, there's YouTube stories now in the community section. Oh, it's only for people with more than 10,000 followers. There we go, that's better.
Whoops. It's doing quite well up to that point, not putting my hand in there or anything wet. Oh well. Always happens eventually. There you go, one reindeer. Is he perfect? No. Does he look like a cow? Yes. Do I care? Absolutely not. If you look at it and you go, oh look, it's a reindeer. Then that's a reindeer right there. I think he needs a red nose. I'm sorry, but I do. I think he needs to be sparkly. There you go. Now you look like a reindeer. <laughs> Uniball Signo white pen, yep. I don't use any other white pen. Oh, I tell a lie, I do use the Posca white pen. I use the Posca brush pens. These are very good for colouring areas. Have some snowflakes, shall we? some empty spaces. What should we do with the empty spaces? Colour them in. A nice Christmassy green. I don't know, Murph. I'll have to look later. I can't do anything about the site while I'm streaming, so I'll have to look, have a look at it later. But it should all be working. It was working fine last night, so I don't know what to tell you, mate, unless they've moved something else. silvery sparkle over your green and you get metallic green. Okay. Are you logged in and signed up? Because the shop's public. On the top right of the site, does it actually say you're logged in? It does. I don't know why it's not working then. Because I fixed it last night, it was fine. 
guess I'll have to look at that again later. Find out what's going on this time. I thought you'd already signed up anyway. Haven't you already signed up for next year? my Santa stickers. Where are my Santa stickers? Who stole my Santa stickers? Miss Maddie, did you stay all my Santa stickers? yes they're really good oil pastels they work better they don't work quite as well over watercolor as they do over acrylic they work beautifully over acrylic I use them all the time and they are definitely the best ones I've found for the cheapest they're uh, Sakura not surprisingly if you can afford to get the 50 set get the 50 set it's not that expensive but mine cost me 17 pounds on Amazon most of the stuff that I use is actually linked to my Amazon shop on my website The early bird sign up, there shouldn't be an early bird sign up link anymore. I don't know why that keeps coming back. I keep taking it off. The early bird sign up was for Halloween. That's why it doesn't work. Where's that, Tracy? That was the alumni link for Halloween. That shouldn't. In the link it takes you to, in the URL, check if it says groups or all hyphen groups. It should say all hyphen groups. If it doesn't say all hyphen groups, then again, that was working yesterday. If they've changed something back and now I have to go and change all my links again, I'm going to get really mad with them because they told me yesterday they hadn't done anything and obviously they have. Whoever's in charge of messing about with groups over, over at Ning, you need to step away because you don't know what you're doing and you keep breaking stuff. <laughs> link should take you to the shop. I wonder if Carolyn's tried to change something and changed it after I've done it. Because the sign up link on the front page, if you're not signed in, it should take you to, you need to sign up for it as a member. And if, it, if you are signed in, it should take you to the shop. Under classes and groups, it still has the link for When Frog Sing 2018. Well, it's supposed to. We haven't finished 2018 yet. You're starting to confuse me now, Murph. <laughs> We've got too many people cross-talking at purposes. I don't, I don't understand what's going on. I will have a look at it later and see if I can figure out where the problem is. But I did this last night and it was all working. The front page is dependent on whether you're logged in or not.
Well, you've got a green frog because you're alumni, Murph. You're in a class now, so you're alumni, which means you've got a green frog. That's what the green frogs are. It means you've done a frog sing class. I think you need to email me with what it is you're trying to do because you, you're confusing me now. <laughs> you're in the class, Murph. You pay on Patreon. Don't you? I'm sure you do. I've got you listed as a patron. Right. What do you think Santa wants for Christmas? That's the December the 7th prompt. Prompt. I think this is probably what Santa wants for Christmas. No, 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 no. Murph, Murph, Murph. Patreon is the class. All of it is when frogs sing. All of it is the same tier. You're now paying on Ning for it. I'm sure you are. I'm sure you pay monthly on Ning. I changed it like six months ago. Oh no, I didn't change the when. It's always been when frogs sing. When frogs sing is the only class that I do other than the standalone chronicles. Anything I teach on Patreon or Ning or anywhere like that, it's all when frogs sing. It's never changed. It's always been the same. Now I'm confused because you're the second person who said that to me. Somebody else said. When I said I was trying to get Patreon to work and it, it wasn't, Patreon wasn't working. And somebody said, why don't you go back to teaching when frogs sing again? I'm like, this is when frogs sing. That's what I'm teaching now. <laughs> I'm confused. You confuse me. I'm a bear of very little brain, especially on a Sunday when I'm not supposed to be working. You're not supposed to confuse me with difficult stuff on a Sunday. <sighs> what does Santa want for Christmas? If anyone needs me, I will be under my duvet. What I will do, I think, is repaint this so it looks like a man's mitten. This is craziness. No, she's allowed to ask questions. Let's not have any of that, please. She's asking questions because she's lost and she doesn't know where the links are. But I'm getting confused now. So, yes, you need to email me, Murph. <laughs> Just email me and tell you what, what it is you're trying to do. Yeah, you stopped paying on Patreon, but you pay on Ning now. But it's all the same thing. It's not... It's just the payments have moved, that's all. This is the famous Murph from my sketchbook. I think you're confused, Merv, because I'm sure I've seen you. Just email me. We'll sort it out. That's the Merv. We had local cuisine, oat cakes, bacon and cheese oat cakes. Yes, I think Santa wants a nice cup of tea and to hide under his duvet for Christmas. So there we go, that's that. 
Hmm. Should I cut that off? Make it easier to make the... No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make the hands. Let's turn the hands into big mittens. Nice cup of tea and a good break. Yeah, that's what I want too. It's going to be a pain to paint around. Okay, Santa, you might have to have. <sighs> might have to have brown trousers, black trousers. That's too dark. I don't want that dark. She's tan. Oat cakes. Um, can't explain them. They're like oat flour based pancakes kind of but they're not pancakes like american pancakes the pancakes like french crepes but they're not pancakes either they're savory can't explain what an oat cake is I used the tomton for my santa legend and put in a recipe for julgrot what he wants for christmas Ooh, nice I haven't looked up this Tom Tom thing yet. I have to do that, don't I? Because I don't know what you're talking about when you say that. I need to... Um... This paint is not fully opaque, so it's not going to give me a nice bright red coat. Unfortunately. Well, it would if I painted it white first, but who has time for that? Am I right? I'm right. Well, I suppose I could have used my red gouache if I thought about it, but never mind. Jewel Grut is rice pudding. Mmm, I love rice pudding. With blackberry jam. I was the only person at school who used to like the rice pudding with blackberry jam. Everybody used to have whatever the alternative was and I used to end up eating all the rice pudding. It was awesome. Uh, 
How am I going to paint around those letters? Oh, I know. I'll just paint over them and then I'll be able to see through them because it's a bake. It's not a bake. And I can just paint them, write them back in. That'll do. Da -da 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 -da. If anybody's curious, what I'm doing here is altering a, I think it was a, I think it's a birch box postcard. Yeah, it's an old birch box postcard that they used to send out. He's like a, is he like a pixie? Like, um, I don't know, what do we call them? Like the house pixies that look after the house. Is he like that? Similar kind of thing. under the duvet too. Why are you sick? Oh, that's not the one I want. joining yeah I'm probably gonna wrap up soon because I've been going for two hours but I'm just making a a Santa for my Christmas Chronicles prompt
Oh, just knackered? Yeah, I know the feeling. I'm exhausted. I just, oof. Okay. Actually, let's use... I don't often use gesso, but I don't want that nasty cup. to fix my Christmas music again. Hang on. I'm going to mute you a second. any of my diamond pencils.
Hi, Boo. Hello, Mr. Boo. Biscuits outside, I gave them to you earlier. Go away. It's just painting over what's already there, really. Don't stress about it and then it'll work out. <laughs> so I do it anyway. Just don't stress over it. Don't don't go, oh, but I'm not painting inside the lines, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Oh, got red paint all over the place there. Oh well. it over with a bit of grey pencil, nobody will notice. Pens running out. I need my pinwheels to put a number seven on it for the seventh prompt, but I don't know where my pinwheels are. They must be over there somewhere. So I've still got to do something with the back, uh, but you could stick a journal card or a words photo or a uh, 
Another one. <laughs> if anybody wants me, I'll be under my duvet. Pyjamas all day long. <laughs> I kind of like that, actually. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Trim the edge up. actually go here then. Okay, that'll balance out that page actually because this is quite heavy. So that'll balance out that bit of page. So if I put that there. It's going to go that way around. Double-sided sticky tape probably would have been better for that, but never mind. Final check.
I'm almost out of candy cane washi tape. It's never a good thing. I will put my pinwheel on there. How do you make tabs? That's how you make a tab. <laughs> I don't have patience for anything that <laughs> involves messing about. Okay. Anything else? Oh, that's a cute little bit of paper. Maybe I'll stick that over there. Matches that side. Journaling. Journaling. No. no. Haven't got anywhere to put that one yet, so that'll go back in the pot. more photos of yourself in your journals people don't give me that oh but they don't like being in front of the camera it's not for you oh david attenborough yeah david attenborough takes precedence i can't think of a better person to lose viewers to bumpy on that edge. It'll be fine once it sticks overnight. I'm almost out of candy cane washi tape. I'm almost out of spotty washi tape. Goodness gracious me. Okay, so where's my 
Most cultures have their own version of Santa. Oh, that's uh, day nine. I have a Santa. Where's Santa gone? I have a Santa. Where is he? I've got a Santa. Where is Santa? Where is Santa? Where is Santa? Where did Santa go? Where did Santa go? Where did Santa go? Oh. I've got a Santa. I've got a big, cool Santa looking dude. He looks like the guy from uh, Miracle on 34th Street. Okay, well I'll put him up there and then I'll journal about my version of Santa. So like, the, these are Christmas Chronicles prompts and I don't, as you can see, I don't always write about the prompt, I don't always journal about the prompt, sometimes I just add a photo. Sometimes I just put the prompt in my journal and don't do anything with it. <laughs> That's happened too. Sometimes I put it in the journal and I come back to it. Like this uh, one with Michael Caine. This is um, where's it gone? This is going to be written about the Muppets Christmas Carol and why I like Scrooge. But that's a sit down and write one, so I don't need to do it at my desk. I can do that anytime. Um, that needs a bit of decoration. Um, same as this, I'm going to make some notes about my silver hair. Do some journaling about wanting a break over Christmas, I think, because that goes with that prompt. I need something there. I could do with a bit of um, <sighs> words. Words would be nice note card thing about that big not a journal card has lines on four by six you know what i mean tell me you know what i mean i know what i mean this one i'm going to write about um mickey sending me those lovely pictures i have a list here of my word of the year that i started the other day i've got to find my words of the year i've been doing this since about 2008 possibly earlier so I've got to find all my words they're all in my journals somewhere uh, I've been doing index card thank you I need an index card I've been doing my uh, prompts with silver around the outside add a bit of Christmas sparkle index card that's exactly what I was trying to think of thank you guys uh, I think there we go what have I got Ooh, I've got some index cards that might be okay for Christmassy stuff that might work for Christmas Ooh, there's a no I really want a plain one like a plain piece of paper Oh, there you go. That'll do. That's nice and thin, too. I'm almost wrapping up, but you've got two and a half hours to catch up on once I've, I'm done. <laughs> oh, I've covered up that paper now. That wasn't very clever, was it? Ta-da! Oh, I've got 
one big spotty washi tape there, I use that one. I'm literally just looking at my pages and imagining what they'll look like with loads of black writing all over and thinking, is that enough? And if it doesn't feel like enough, I throw some more washi tape on it or add some colour or whatever. It's literally all it is. <laughs> so I've got some journaling to do there and there. Ooh, Saturday's bullet journal. I haven't done Saturday's bullet journal, so I'm going to need a bullet journal page back here somewhere. Oof. Okay. What date was Saturday? I don't even remember. The 8th. In fact, I've got Saturday and Sunday. So there's the 8th. Yesterday I went out for a good session with the chaps at uh, Urban Sketches so I've actually got some journaling to do specifically for Saturday and I'll probably scan in one of my sketches and then reprint it as a photo and pop it in here because I do like to have my sketches in my book. In fact, I did two sketches, so I think what I'll do... You'll notice that my writing is taking up a lot more room these days. I'm writing bigger because my my shoulder can no longer cope with writing small. And honestly, I can't see when I'm writing either. So my writing is now terrible and it's big and it looks like a serial killer's. But I don't care. So we just write. Um, I tried writing bigger but in the old style that I used to do, like really tiny writing, super tiny writing, ridiculously tiny writing I have, um, always have had. This is perfectly normal, uh, but it hurts my shoulder, so I've had to learn to write differently and relax about it. So now I take up more room. So I have to think about what my writing's gonna look like. It's not quite as big as Mickey's. <laughs> Mickey has huge writing. Um, but if I see if that that area there is about the right size for that Santa, even if I draw him, I'll draw him about the same size. So that's about enough room there. This I don't know how much room I'm going to need, so I'll leave that. This, if I print out the two pictures that I did there and there, or even there and there, then I'm still got enough room for my bullet journal and my actual journal. So I might as well put Sunday here and then what I'll do is grab a screenshot from the video and print that out as a photo. Might grab a couple of them for different pages. So I could print like four screenshots to a pet to a six by four card and they'll be they'll be a little bit fuzzy, but they won't be horrendous. As long as I freeze frame the video on full screen and screen cap it or screen it on um, in HD, play it in HD, pause it, and then capture the screen in that format. It should shrink down to a, a photo like that quite clearly. It might be a little bit, ow. Might be a little bit fuzzy, but it shouldn't be too bad. So there's Sunday, which is the 9th. 
Where's the ninth? 25th. Uh, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, where have you gone? Where are you? Where have you gone? Joe DiMaggio. Here's today. I think that'll probably just be one page. It might even be half a page. I might just print one screen cap. Yeah, I'll just do one. I'm thinking less about the aesthetic of what my journal will look like. Hi Chloe. I'm thinking less about the aesthetic and more about how lazy am I? And am I likely to print out four screen caps of the video or will I just do one and say sod it? <laughs> or possibly not even do any. That's also entirely likely, so. Because technically I've already done my journaling for today now. I mean, I'll sit down with my, my pen and write some when I'm done. But I don't write on camera because I can't really concentrate. And I don't like just sitting here writing. It's not interesting watching people writing. It's interesting watching people create stuff. It's not interesting just watching somebody write unless they're doing beautiful calligraphy. So. And I ain't doing beautiful calligraphy. Do you use a writing board when your pages get bulky on one side? No. Too lazy. I'd never know where it was. I'm not fussy about my journaling at all. <laughs> not even vaguely. <laughs> I don't... I have a... I have a board. Don't know where it is. I bought one thinking, oh, that'd be useful. I do have a, a bit of paper that I use. This is uh, moleskin grid paper. It's one of the detachable pages at the back of a cahier. And I covered it in book cover, uh, book cover film. I drew the lines on with a ballpoint pen. Covered it in book cover film. So it's kind of useful. It's, I use it for like when I'm doing my bullet journal just to keep reasonably straight lines but I also do it when I'm setting up pages that I need to break up for whatever reason. I've already got the grids because I'm too lazy to measure so I've got half and threes and fours um, but if I needed to like when I write on when I write on this page because this page has got painting on the back and it's quite bulky to even it out a little bit against this, I'll probably just pop that underneath. So I guess you could call that a writing board, but it's not a writing board. It's just to, it's more like um, instead of writing on a plain piece of paper on a table, you put a pad underneath it, so it's a bit softer to write on. That's more what it is. It's not, I don't really like writing boards, especially in fountain pen. Do I have anywhere that needs a picture of Scooby? I could put them on there. It's going to be 
writing. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the front of this yet. Um, see, that goes with that set. But I don't want yet another tip-in on that page. There is such a thing as too many tip-ins, especially when you've got a cardboard one here. What do you do with all of your old journals? Uh, I have a huge blanket chest, and when I'm finished, they go in there. And every so often I pull them all out and start scanning pages so I can use them for collage and stuff. I'm never going to use all of that page. I'm going to put Scoob down there. Nearly bedtime. Text me tomorrow. Yeah, okay. I'm stopping in a minute anyway. You're, you're not missing anything. I'm literally going to stick Scooby down and then I'm going to wrap up. I've been meaning to do an overview of different ways to organise older journals. literally just write the dates on the outside with either a white marker or a sharpie and chuck them in the box in chronological order by which I mean I chuck the newest ones on top and then they're in date order <laughs> I have my granny's old blanket chest and I just throw them in and when I'm filled with that up I'll get another one Something I would like to do at some point is to go through and use my new version of the Bullet Journal Index because I think it's a really good idea. Um, instead of, I don't know if I showed you this the other day or if I told class or what, um, instead of writing down like daily logs on these pages, sketches on these pages, journal on these pages, da 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 da, that doesn't really mean anything to me because it doesn't tell me what's on those pages. So in December, I put the December, the day for the calendar, because that that breaks up that chunk then. I know that 1 to 22 is the November bits, and then 22 onwards is December. Um, at some point, I will probably put Christmas Chronicles and just note the dates, the pages, so that I know when I want to go back and scan them, it's easy to find the pages. But instead of putting all the daily logs, I've just put something that's on that page whenever I've written something that's important. So like page 25, I've got the iMac notes for my, the notes for my iMac keyboard and where I've put the receipt because I've written on there where I've put the receipt. So I know where it is if I need it for warranty or anything. Um, so I've put that in there, iMac keyboard notes, page 25, Vlogmas 2018, page 27. I don't need that right now, but next year when I come to say, oh, where's Vlogmas? Oh, Vlogmas, page 27, there we go. There's my Vlogmas list for this year. Uh, Silver Hair How To, page 28, um, because I wrote down what I did to get this, because it was an accident. <laughs> so I wrote it down. That's why I kept the uh, these. And I'll probably put those, page 34, dies for stuff like that. Um, and I'd quite like to go through each book and just note down important stuff. Not absolutely what's on absolutely every single page, but just like if, if something special happened. Just inside the cover, a few pages of you know this happened and it was really cool that happened and it was really cool and here's where it is in the book but to do that I have to go through a number on my pages and I'm kind of lazy and I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon <sighs> kind of lazy is an understatement but I think I can probably um at some point over the Christmas holidays I will number next year's book um for at least starting January 
um, because these are 180 pages so I, if I start it and do like halfway through that'll be okay. So I'm up to page 38 now and I've got till page 76 before the end of the year and we're only on the 10th and I've got Christmas Chronicles still to do. I might actually run out of room which would be impressive um, but there's always tippings you know there's always extra tippings you can put in. Um, I think what I'll do here is when I framed my pictures um, from Mickey I will take a picture of the wall where they're hung up and I'll put the picture in here and I'll probably put it as a tip end at the bottom of the page so it'll work like that and then I'll have the journaling underneath. Your procrastination video is awesome by the way. Thank you very much Pam. Give it a thumbs up if only to annoy the seven people who gave it a thumbs down. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> and somebody will go, well, you keep mentioning it. I'm like, yeah, because it's freaking funny. It's funny that these people think you care enough to worry about getting a thumbs down. Thumbs up actually help because they do get you shown on the, the tubey things and I'm trying to get verified and they keep telling me I'm not famous enough to be verified. I'm like, oh. <laughs> And so too. <laughs> right up my little bits and things. I'll have to remember to put this video in the credits as well because it keeps skipping to this video when the other one's finished. some more photos because I've run out of photos which is good because that means I've done my week's journaling. Ooh, look, is this pretty? Andrea sent me that. Isn't that lovely? It's got like moons and and flowers and stars. It's got like s stars that are like flowers and then moons. It's really pretty. I use that in the new year. How could ever anyone give you a thumbs down? It's just people just you know it's usually not personal it's somebody's come on and they've, they've seen like four minutes of your video and gone oh don't like this and moved on. Oh it's an hour and a half long I'm not gonna watch that. Thumbs down because they can't be bothered, you know. It's usually just people passing by and going, oh, it's not 20 minutes. I'm not sitting watching this. Because they've all got the attention spans of gnats these days. But, you know, the people who enjoy my three hour shows are here sitting with me, journaling for three hours. So I don't, it doesn't bother me. If they don't want to watch a three hour show, they don't have to watch a three hour show. There's plenty of other shows they can go watch. I do like it and I'm, I'm keeping the moon uh, clip as well. That's not getting as far as Anna Risha. Sorry, Risha, but it's not. It's a cute moon, moon paper clip. It's not getting as far as you. I'll send you a doggy one. <laughs> the five wise. Yeah. Well, that's in. That's from Ryder's book. 
it's not Ryder's idea either, it's somebody else. The chap from Japan that I mentioned, that I don't remember the name of, because I can't remember English names, let alone Japanese ones. Right, that's me packed up. Where's my... Oh, my scissors are over there. My safety scissors are over there. Mr. Toyota, yes. From the... Isn't he from the Toyota company? But his name's Toyota, I think. Is that right? I think so. But there's my pinwheels. That's what I was looking for. Okay. So, I needed seven for that one. Eight was an art prompt, so I haven't done that one in my in this journal. I'm doing the art prompt separately in a sketchbook, just because I fancy doing something different. Because usually I would do this all as a separate journal. I would do the Christmas Chronicles as a separate journal. This year I'm amalgamating it all because, like I said, I'm practicing the bullet journal thing where you do it all together. And I'm trying to figure out how and if it will work for me that way. Um, what does Santa want for Christmas? Uh, no, most cultures have their own version of Santa. That's today's, isn't it? So that's the ninth. I can't see what I'm doing because I took my glasses off. Okay. Uh. I don't think that's copyright free music, so I'm going to flick back to the one that I know is copyright free. An intentional copyright, people. It moved across. But I will credit the video because it keeps coming up. It'll be in my recent history, so I'll just I'll just credit the guys. Put a link. It's usually what people just want, is just a bit of credit for their hard work. Right, so that's number nine. I'm not worried about them being out of order, by the way. Like, this is the Christmas Chronicles page number nine. This is Saturday the 8th, and then I've got the 9th here and the 10th. I know journal chronologically, it's the matter. This is number nine, it's the ninth journal prompt. It's not really for the ninth necessarily, so I, I don't really care. So, here's what we've got. Uh, Oh, I'm keeping these. What was I keeping these for? I was going to use these. These are Courtney's as well. She just gave us some 1 to 10, 1 to 0 numbers. 0 to 9. Ugh. 0 to 9 numbers. They kind of remind me of Dr. Seuss. Does he have a Christmas thing that's got like... Is it the cat in the hat? It's a stripy hat like that. And it's a Christmassy one. Anyway, it reminds me of Dr. Seuss. So I thought I'd use those in my sketchbook for the ones that I'm doing as sketches. So, our catch-up has been, I need to figure out, I need to get the plan for the seventh. Put in my pictures of Scooby and, it is the cat in the hat. Okay, it does remind me of the cat in the hat. Is the cat in the hat a Christmas story? Or does it just involve Christmas or happen at Christmas or something like that? I think it's like Die Hard, isn't it? It's not actually a Christmas movie, it just happens at Christmas. I don't know. Uh, so pictures of Scooby. I kind of like this, it's funny. It's it's um, all the misprint photos. Let me bring you down here so you can actually see what I'm doing. refocus there we go 
So yeah, it's all the misprint photos of trying to get a cute picture of him, because he wouldn't let me. Miss Maddie's jealous face. I closed that too soon and I've got wet stuff on there, but never mind. She's got some sparkly on her now. Oh well, I don't think she'll mind. Uh, my Christmas coffee date with an elf chair. They had elf hats on the, el on the chairs, it was very strange. I will write a bit about what I do with my hair under there and stuff. I feel like I need something here. He needs something a little bit... He needs a little bit more... He needs something. He needs a little bit more something. And I don't know what he needs. I do think he needs some fluffy earmuffs. I think he needs some big red fluffy earmuffs. Like this. But he needs something there. I'm not sure what he needs, but he needs something. I'll think of something. Um, then we've got what Santa wants for Christmas. Hiding under the duvet in his pyjamas. Update. I'd probably be a general life update since it's a photo of me. Uh, this will be um, about Mickey sending me those photos and I'll take, I'll leave a space so that I've got space to put the picture of the photos on the wall. There's my final picture of Scooby. I finally got a decent picture of him. <laughs> Christmas lights. Christmas lights. He's got Christmas lights on his antlers. That's Christmas lights. I know they're green and therefore they look like Christmas leaves, but it's actually Christmas lights. Uh, my version of Santa Claus. I've got a picture of Santa that's going to go there and that's just going to be writing. Saturday is going to be all about my Urban Sketches meetup yesterday. We didn't get a group photo or anything, so I just put some pictures of my sketch sketches in there. Uh, Sunday, probably do a little bit of bullet journaling and a screen cap from today's very long three hour session. Wow, three hours of journal with me, that's cool. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, and then we're on to next week. That's it. Go away. I'm finishing here today. I've got to. I'm going to teach tomorrow as well because I didn't teach yesterday. So I've got to do a class tomorrow as well. That's my two days off gone this week. Never mind. A couple of weeks and it'll be Christmas and I'll be having Christmas off and that will be awesome. Hi, Maddie. Hi there. What do you want? Oh, I know what she wants. I know what time it is. It's nearly nine o'clock. And that means we know what time it is, don't we, Miss Maddie? She always knows what time it is. Productive! Yes, three hours of catching up on journaling. I, I hope it's been useful for you to see how I do my journaling when I'm just, you know, catching up on stuff, doing quick, 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 quick. Just throwing it all together, catching up. I, like I say, I don't journal chronologically. I don't finish one page at a time or anything like that. I just throw it all in. My journal is like my life. I just chuck it all in and hope that I get everything finished. There's not really a lot of organisation involved. <laughs> Thanks for joining me and I will see you again very soon. Uh, obviously there will be a Christmas Chronicles, no, Vlogmas tomorrow. Christmas Chronicles, I haven't done a live class for yet, but I'm hoping to do one this week. Tomorrow's live class for When Frogs Sing will be what we should have been doing on Saturday, which will be working on that monster canvas. And uh, Tuesday we'll have the next prompt going up, which will be Totem Animals. And then Thursday we're doing Totem Animals in class. We'll do some... Christmassy ones. We'll do robins and rain, reindeer and not like this, like actual proper art type. <laughs> it is proper art, but that's more doodly. When I do proper eyes, it's actual art. It actually will look like a reindeer instead of a cow. Thanks for joining me. See you again soon. Good night.